to Kristen Kelly TV. Today I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag. This is where I talk about 25 questions, I believe. I believe it's 25 plus questions where you get to know me. So if this is something you're interested in watching, please continue. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. The first question is, what is your middle name? My middle name is Elizabeth. However, I like to go by the middle name Rose because I never really liked the name Elizabeth. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. However, I definitely love all colors. I'm not really like a, a color racist, I guess you'd say. Like, I really love all colors, but I would have to say that pink is my favorite color. Like, I'm just really attracted to the color pink, but I really do like all colors. Who was your first best friend? My first best friend was this girl named Cassidy, and she actually has six kids now. Um, and we have not spoken in, I don't even know how long the last time I spoke to her was. I think she did friend request me on Facebook or something a while ago. How tall are you? I'm 5'4 and a quarter, but normally I just tell people I'm 5'5. Five five. Cats or dogs? Definitely dogs because I have dogs. I love dogs. I like how cats look, and I always had cats when I was little, but I don't know. Like, something I, I definitely want to adopt some cats at some point. Like, I'd love to get a calico Persian or a white Persian. I love Persian cats, but I would definitely say I'm a dog person more than a cat person. Funniest moments throughout school? Funniest moments throughout school? Um. I definitely would have to say that being in drama, like drama class was so much fun because you got to like let loose and I feel like when you're in high school, everybody is very like, nobody wants to act different. So I really enjoyed drama class because we got to like do a lot of fun things and it was, um, I guess that was fun. Also, I went to a boarding school so I lived in a dorm and that's really fun because it's kind of like college but with more rules and more structure, but you still get to have that experience of living together and that's really fun. So probably just, but like if I could break it down, I'd have to say we had these dorm wars one time where all of the dorms competed in all these different games. Like there was a scavenger hunt that was like throughout different towns and they had like a singing, like a lip syncing, like a lip singing contest, but where you're like lip syncing. And um, I don't know if I said that right. I don't know. Um, but we did this. I helped coordinate it. I picked the song, and it was like the U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. You're ugly. Yeah, yeah. You're ugly. Yeah, yeah. So we did uh, this like cheerleading kind of choreography, and I was one of the people that helped do everything for it, and it was amazing, and we won, and everyone was like, that was the best that we've ever seen, like, we had girls being lifted up, and there was, like, everybody's faces were just, like, because, you know, it's at high school, so some people, like, didn't really take the contest too seriously, but, like, we really put a lot into it, so, and we were also the largest girl dorm, so it was very tricky, like, we were the largest dorm, but also the largest girl dorm, so it was, like, a tricky situation but we won and I was so proud so dorm wars were definitely like the best um how many countries have you visited so uh, I mean okay so I've been to Paris um the United States Mexico Jamaica Canada I guess like five I haven't really been that many places. I don't really like... Yuki, stop. I'm not like a huge travel person. Like, I do like... Oh, like the Bahamas, the Caribbeans, Puerto Rico. I don't know. If, I think that's a district of America, though. Like a... a or like district of Columbia. I don't know. Um, where would I like to travel, though? I would love to go to Japan. In the next few years, I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go to Australia. I want to go to Japan really bad. I'd love to go to Korea. Are you slash have you gone to college? Yes, I did go to college. I actually went to the Art Institute of San Francisco. And then after that, I went to LaSalle in Massachusetts. It's in Newton, Mass. But I only went there for a few months and then I ended up graduating at FIDM, which is the Fashion Institute of Design and Technology, which is in Los Angeles. 
and I graduated with my degree in visual communications. What was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? My favorite subject in high school would have to be history. I've always loved history. Always. Um, that's like one of like just something I've always been super interested in. I love learning from history. I love knowing different things. I love knowing facts. So history was always my favorite. Math was definitely my most unfavorite. I hated math class. I hated all my math teachers. I never had a math teacher like. I, I'm like so bad at math. I'm just horrible at math. So definitely math, I would have to say. Um, what is your favorite drink? So my favorite alcoholic drink is Tito's and soda with an orange on the side. My favorite non-alcoholic drink, I would have to say, is either... I, I love water. I love coconut water and I love orange juice, but I really love water. Like I have a water machine and I always am drinking water. I'm just very big on water. What is your favorite animal? I love animals. I love animals so much. This is very difficult. What is my favorite animal? Oh, I love giraffes. I love hippopotamuses. I love kangaroos. Oh, I love all animals. I have, you know what, this is like a tie because I literally love every single animal in this world. I love bats. Oh, I just love animals. What is your favorite perfume? Okay, my favorite perfume is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Oh my God. Sometimes I spray that before I go to sleep at night. I'm not even joking, just because I love how it smells so much. Oh, I love the packaging. I actually have a lot of different Marc Jacobs perfumes, but that is my favorite. Tea or coffee? I do really like tea, but I don't drink it enough. I had about four cups of coffee today, which is insane because normally I really don't drink coffee. Um, what do I drink more? I definitely drink coffee more, but what would I like to drink more? Green tea. What would it, oh, sorry, I have like an eyelash in my eye. If you guys think I'm like winking at you, I'm like, hey. Um, okay. What would you or have you named your children? Well, Yuki, she's my my firstborn. Yuki is named after snow because she's white. Um, Yuki means snow and blessings in Japanese. Oh my god, why is my eye hurt? So I named Yuki Yuki because of snow. And then I named Mochi, um, Mochi, cause he's like a little Mochi ball, which is like a little Japanese ice cream. So I wanted them to both have Japanese names and Yuki is just such a cute name. I love that name. If I have um, like a human daughter one day, I might name her Yuki. I just think it's such a beautiful name. I really love just Japanese names in general. What sports did you play, have you played? So when I was really little, I used to play soccer, I used to play softball, I used to play basketball, badminton, like all those kind of like normal things. In high school, the only sport I played was lacrosse. Um, what is your idea of an ideal first date? Whew, that's a good question, okay. So if I was going to go on an ideal first date, what would it be like? Well, first of all, the guy would have to be super hot. Um, this is like the ideal man, right? Okay, so super hot. I'm going to say like 6'2", blonde hair, blue eyes. He could or couldn't have tattoos. I can go either way with that. Um, high cheekbones, really nice personality, really smart funny, good job, likes his family but isn't like too in love with his family, you know what I mean? Like talks to them all day long. Um, loves dogs, loves animals. I'd like somebody who is vegan or vegetarian, that would be nice. Um, someone who works out. Okay, now for our first date, I think I would want, well probably not a movie because you don't get to really talk. 
I like, I would definitely think a dinner would be involved. Maybe somewhere nice, but not too nice. Cause I've definitely gone on first dates that were, the place was almost too nice. And then it's kind of weird because you almost are like, you feel like you're being watched kind of while you're like trying to have a conversation. Cause you want to have a conversation with them, but you also want to eat. Okay. So I would say probably dinner somewhere casual, but not too casual, not too fancy, but nice. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Oh my God. Maybe he could take me like on a jet ride and we could go somewhere, somewhere. I don't know. I'm not sure what would be like my perfect first date. I've never thought about it. Okay. Fantasy world. He shows up with a basket full of puppies. Yeah, that would be pretty much it. Um, Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Well, I love Sanders Kennedy, obviously, because he's one of my friends. I love Trisha Paytas. I just think she's very interesting to watch, but I can't watch her too much because it like kind of makes my head hurt, but I do like her a lot. And I think that we would be friends in real life. I used to like Gigi Gorgeous a lot, but then she gave, she got rid of her dog. Like her dog had puppies and then she ended up getting rid of her dog and that just really rubbed me the wrong way. So I unfollowed her, but I used to really like Gigi Gorgeous. I still think she's beautiful and very interesting, but the whole giving away the dog thing was like, eh, a little bit weird for me. Are you single or taken? I am single and ready to mingle. Holla at your girl. How many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? Oh my God. I would say I've had three serious boyfriends. And I definitely had more boyfriends, but they weren't, I didn't think that I, like, I, I dated this one guy that we were together, I think, for two years. And then one of his friends who was married was like, oh, maybe this is the year he'll propose to you. And I just immediately started crying because I knew I didn't want to be with him. So I definitely don't even consider him a serious boyfriend. So I would have to say serious boyfriends, somebody that I could see myself or I could have seen myself being with, probably three. And I've never had a girlfriend, but I've never, I would, you know, I've never had sex with a girl, but I would not like totally be against it. I think it's like, I would have to fall in love with her and then I would have to see where that went. But I've never had a girlfriend. Favorite memory from childhood. I would have to say my favorite memory from my childhood would be this one time my mom got me this really nice dollhouse and I didn't really play with dolls all that much. But just seeing how happy my mom was to give it to me, and it was like a big surprise, and I love surprises, so I'd have to say that would be my favorite memory. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Clue, like the old school Clue movies. I love old movies in general. Like I love movies from the 40s and the 50s. I'm just I'm a very big like old Hollywood glam fan but Clue is definitely my favorite movie. And I love Disney movies. Disney movies are like always a classic and I can always watch a Disney movie and just absolutely love it. Like Sleeping Beauty, I would have to say is my favorite Disney movie. Do you speak any different languages and how well? Watashiwa, Kristen Kelly does. Hi. Uh, I speak a tiny little bit of Japanese, but I actually am trying to learn Japanese and I'm trying to learn Spanish. That's actually one of my big goals right now is to learn Espanol. Uh, see, I don't really know Spanish at all, but I do want to learn Spanish because I actually, when I was really little, I had a nanny who spoke Spanish and I used to translate between my nanny and my mom, but then I didn't speak Spanish like my whole life. So I don't know any, like I don't know anymore. Do you have any siblings? I have two brothers, but I do not speak to either of them. So I really consider myself siblingless because I've disowned both of my siblings. How would you describe your fashion sense? I would describe my fashion sense as kind of eclectic. Like I love like the pinup vintage style of like the 40s and 50s, but then I also really love like urban like hip hop style. I love comfortable style, just wearing like black leggings and like an Adidas shirt and workout, you know, just like workout kind of stuff. 
I love wearing flats and sneakers. I used to wear high heels all the time. Now it is such a rare occasion when you find me in high heels. So I'm definitely eclectic because like one day I could be wearing this outfit and then the next day I could be wearing, you know, uh, jeans and a ripped t-shirt and a baseball cap. So I definitely have like kind of a different sense of style. I, I don't always dress the same. What is your favorite restaurant? So I really like Chipotle for like fast food because I love that you can customize it. I What I get normally from Chipotle is I get lettuce, white rice, double black beans, that those like, um, like onions, and then I get no meat, I get no cheese, I get guacamole, pinko de gallo, extra corn because I love Chipotle's corn, and a little lettuce on top. What are some of your favorite TV shows? I love Riverdale, like right now I love Riverdale, what else? I love crime shows in general, but I really watch a lot of movies and a lot of, like, I used to not really watch that much TV and that many movies, but I've been watching a lot of movies. Um, I love horror movies and I love, like, drama movies. I love comedy. Mac or PC? Mac. What phone do you have? iOS or Android? I have an iOS. I have, um, a iPhone 6S Plus in rose gold. Tell us about your bad habits. Whew, bad habits, bad habits. Um, I definitely say, um, like, what else do I say? I say, literally, I don't know, this started about two years ago where I started saying literally all the time and I find myself saying like and literally. So definitely my speech, I would say, is a bad habit. I sleep too much. I don't have a regular sleeping schedule. I'll either sleep too much or I won't go to bed or I'll fall asleep at 10 p.m. and then I'll wake up at 2 a.m. and I won't fall asleep for another three hours. So definitely my bad habits, I would have to say, are my sleeping patterns, which I hope get broken when I go to school for fashion because, or not fashion, I already did that, um, when I go to school to be an esthetician because then I'll be going to school all day long. So hopefully I'll be able to get my sleep schedule back on track because as of right now, you guys know, like I'm living in a hotel in Massachusetts. So I'm not, I don't have like an, I'm not working every day. I don't have like an everyday thing to do. So if I want to take a nap, I just take a nap, but then my sleep schedule gets thrown off. So that is definitely a bad habit. Spending money on crazy stuff that I don't need. That is definitely a bad habit. I'll go into a store and I'll be like, oh, do I need these shoes? I'll just buy them. Or, oh, do I want this? I'll just get it and I'll return it if I don't want it. So I definitely shop too much and I shop when I have nothing else to do. So that's a bad habit. Picking the wrong guys, I'd have to say. I, I tend to date guys that aren't great for me. I should probably make like a match.com because I have horrible taste in men. And, or I'll like meet somebody and I'll think that they're great, but then they later turn out to be way different. So probably men are also a bad habit.